The second episode of Electric Dreams was titled The Impossible Planet, starring Jack Raynor, Benedict Wong and Geraldine Chaplin. The two male cast members are playing characters that are tour guides throughout the galaxy and Geraldine's character is a deaf old woman who wants to go to planet Earth as that is where her grandmother was from. However, this is a problem due to the fact that planet Earth is no more, yet she is offered to pay the two tour guides a substantial amount of money. At the start of the episode, I thought it was going to be a strong episode, however as the show went on it proved to be fairly boring to watch with not much happening to excite the viewer. The most exciting part of the episode was when the ship crashed on the planet that they were making out with planet Earth. A lot of the time you're questioning if she is actually deaf and this question never gets answered. It just becomes confusing as she seems to be able to understand Jack Raynor's character but not Benedict Wong. Her personal assistant is aware that the tour guides are leading her to a planet that isn't actually Earth, yet it never informs her or punishes the guides. Understandably, if she's none the wiser then she will still get the fulfillment that she would get on this planet even if it isn't Earth, which is what I think her personal assistant was insinuating. The climax of the episode was where Raynor and Chaplin's character have set foot on the planet and their oxygen is running low. Eventually it runs out and Geraldine's character removes her helmet. She turns around and she is young. A planet that seems to make you lose your age? It was fairly confusing. Then all of a sudden they were in the location that she wanted to go to on planet Earth and he was made out to be a grandfather that was in the photo. So does that make her her own grandmother? The episode was confusing to watch and the ending was extremely baffling, questions unanswered that should be, however the decision to leave it unanswered is still acceptable. The set was okay but it didn't look like it had a massive budget. It looked almost like the set of an episode of Red Dwarf. It will be interesting to see what the other space themed episode will be like in the series. The acting overall was performed really well and the characters were extremely believable. It's not better than the first episode but it was okay. What did you think of the episode The Impossible Planet? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.